Hi everybody, this is Patrick Altmaier and I'm going to show you how to install WineHQ in um, Ubuntu 12.04. I have the LTS long-term support version. I recommend this version over 12.10. The amount of features you gain may be uh, good for about 1% of you, but the other 99% everything will function much better with the 12.04 edition. So in order to install Wine, the first thing we do is open up a browser. I'm just using the pre-installed um, Firefox. Okay, we're going to go to winehq.org slash download backslash slash Ubuntu. Okay, we're going to get to the screen here, and it, the top part of it, ignore all of this stuff here. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the bottom. See where it says alternative command instructions for installing Wine? We're going to use the terminal. It is possible to add the WinPPA and install via the terminal. This may be useful on X Ubuntu. Ubuntu and other Ubuntu derivatives. So the first thing we do is just copy the first thing they say here. It says sudo space add dash apt repository because we have to get it from the uh, um, repository space ppa colon ubuntu dash wine slash ppa. So we're going to copy that, open up a terminal, go up here to your dash and type in terminal. See how it's right here? And we're going to open it up. Okay, you're going to right click on it, hit paste, and hit enter. It's going to ask for your password to use when you installed Ubuntu. And there you go. It's going to finish the first part. And it says more info, blah, blah, blah. Press enter to continue control C to cancel adding it. And of course, we're going to hit enter. And we're done. Every time we get back to uh, what it looks like this, you know the command has been run. So let's go back to the bottom. And now what we have to do is then update apt package information by running sudo apt-get update. But what you don't want to copy is the quotes. Just copy what's in between the single quotes. Right click on it, hit copy. Highlight it of course first. Go back to the terminal, which is now open here, it should be on the dashboard somewhere. If you have a bunch of stuff here, it might be way down here, but it'll be there. Put your cursor somewhere in here, right click and hit paste. And then hit enter again. Okay, now it's unloading all, I mean it's um, running the update and getting all of the package into, onto the uh, computer. Okay, now it's done again because you see we're back to our username. Now we're ready to install Wine. And again, see this highlighted part? Just copy what's in between the quotes. Don't include the quotes. Right click on it again. Hit copy. And we're going to paste it back in the terminal. Okay, we're going to put the cursor over anywhere where it's purple. Right click and hit paste. And we're going to hit enter. And you want to continue. It says, after this operation, 344 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. And we're going to hit yes. Or just Y, not yes. But just, she also says you want to continue YRN, put Y, and then enter. Okay, this is going to take a while because this is a lot of installation. So I want to pause the video until we get to the next step. I'll see you in about two minutes. Okay, eventually you're going to get to this screen and it's going to say you have to agree to the end user license agreement for Microsoft software. Some people get lost because see how this doesn't have a link on it? A lot of people try to highlight it like this and hit enter and nothing happens. The reason why nothing's happening is because you have to use a tab key to highlight it. See how it's highlighted now? So just hit the tab key which is the one just above the caps locks key on your keyboard. I'm not talking about a tab on the screen, I'm talking about the, t the tab button on your comp on your uh, keyboard. Okay, once it's highlighted, hit enter. Now you're going to use your arrow keys to move it over to yes, because of course you have to accept it. 
because this uses the Microsoft uh, fonts. So highlight it and hit enter again. Remember use the arrow keys on the bottom right of the keyboard. Hit enter and we're ready to continue. And we will continue again uh, once this is done. I will pause the video and I'll see you again in another half a second. Alright as you can see here it took us back to the uh, username login screen and here's the cursor you can see this is my wife's computer and you see her name here so now that it's done we can close out of here and to show that it's been installed we're gonna go to the dash type in wine and you get your uninstall wine software wine tricks and configure wine I want to show you the configuration real quick See how it already has the uh, directory installed. Okay, it comes default to run programs in XP mode. If it doesn't work, but I recommend starting with this one, you move on up. For most people, you would bypass the 03, bypass the Vista, bypass the 08 down here, and go right to Windows 7. And everything should work fine. I wouldn't use 8, I would just go to 7. But right now it's in XP, keep it here and see if things work. All this other stuff like the audio, the graphics, you might have to do something with the odds are you can leave it alone. Because like the voice input device, pulse audio, that's basically automatic. But what this means by system default is whatever you use, when you set up the sound up here in dash, it's going to use it over here. See how I have sound set up? Not this one, this one. See, whatever this is set up to, like right now it's on microphone because I'm making this video. Whatever sound effects you have and all that, it's, that's, it's just going to take those over, which is just fine. Anyway, this is Patrick Altmeyer. Make sure you use the alternative command line instructions for wine and follow these three steps. One, two, and three. And you'll see it's um, an easier job. Some people have trouble with 12.10. What I suggest you do is uninstall 12.10 and give yourself a nice clean install of the 12.04 LTS Ubuntu version because that stands for long term support and I have a lot less problems with this and it still does 90% of the things you need you know you would need to do. This is Patrick Altmeyer. Thanks for watching.